What's going on, everyone? Boss here again. This time we're here for episode 16 of Blue Lock. We continue on during this second selection. Last episode, we sent Naruhaya home and we gained Baru. So we have a team of Nagi, Isagi, and Baru. Which is going to be interesting to see if we can get Baru to be a team player. Um, or if we can just work around it somehow. I don't know. Because he is... It seems like he's at his best when he's being him. So maybe they can figure it out. Um, maybe he has his own learning to do. Because uh, he, he continues to evolve. But I'm, I'm definitely going to think that's going to be at least one of the big problems in the next match is working with Baru. <laughs> and then it also depends on who are we going to play. Are we going to play Chiguri, um, Kunigami, and Ryo? Or somebody else? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um... But yeah, um, this this second lection, selection is hype. Isagi's evolving, and he's he's getting nice. He's the genius of adaptability. So we'll see how this how these geniuses continue on. Um, without further ado, let's jump in. Oh yeah, fighting for the bed. Yeah, we saw this at the end of the last episode. You started throwing stuff everywhere. Wow. Made Baru. That image won't leave my mind. You let him have the bed? Are we going to get a Baru flashback at some point? Try fusion. I can do a fusion, huh? <laughs> okay, he's a man of routines. Yo, <laughs> it's like we could be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Gonna try two. He's gonna try. He's <laughs> talking just try to emulate everybody. You gonna do it too? Yo, none of them look interested. Oh, hurry up and produce a genius. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah, like, hey, hype him up. He goes to play in Europe. Nah, he's not ready. <laughs> You do need money. You do need money to, to operate. But we want a star, a permanent star. Yeah, this man got big teeth. And an evil look. <laughs> the spe the facial expressions in the show are, are crazy. Oh, hair down borrow? He cleaned too. <laughs> Made borrow. Yeah, they took the best, the best spots. <laughs> okay. So I guess they didn't play anybody yet. They're just practicing together. Yeah, they really want to beat Isagi. <laughs> okay, this this yandere action. Okay, so they they probably are gonna play them then, it's cause they're they waited around. Yeah, help me so I can score. That's it. Just, just help. Serve the king. Yo. Stop calling him donkey. Oh. Your talent can shine brighter. Uh-oh. That'd be funny if you had friends back at school or something. <laughs> that form is crazy. See how far his leg was over? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just a shower scene. Oh, I'm going to explain him. Yo, Isagi went through so much and they're still just chilling there. <laughs> like, they didn't play anybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just getting a lot of fan service today. Okay, I see it. Showing off the, showing off the guys. You can't pick both y'all, so what happened? Where's <laughs> Rayo? Is Rayo gonna pull up too? And everybody's full body. They ready? 
Oh, not <laughs> enemies. Okay. Oh, we can't run away. Okay. All right. We all ready. What's up? Intense, intense bath scene. <laughs> okay, so they are going to play them. So who would they take if they win? <laughs> He's not going to pass it to you, but still pass it to me. Yeah, he's gonna have to make these two go. <laughs> oh, I want Chigori. Okay. <laughs> he just wants somebody to pass on. So they all want somebody different. Okay. Okay, practicing as a th threesome. All right. Yo, this man, Rayo, it just. Revenge, man. Yo, this guy, man. <laughs> okay, so everybody's just gonna decide at the after the match. All right. Oh, so what might happen is nobody's gonna want to play them until we get back to four people, and so we can play four and four against them. Okay, so we already know who we're going to play for the 4-on-4 four -four match then. Sound like we mapped out. When we get to 5-on-5 five -five though. Wait. If you get 5, you go through? Or do you play a 5-on-5 five -five first? I forget. Talk to him anyways. Okay, building something there, maybe. Are we going to start, or are we just going to get a cliffhanger? This match might be like a few episodes, maybe. I don't know. Yo, they're just... <laughs> are they going to start fighting? <laughs> okay. Kunigami figured something out a little bit. What's this guy going to do, man? No. He's obsessed with him. Oh, they're gonna double team him. Pass the ball. Don't forget Chigori too. Oh, to Chigori. Mm -hmm. There you go, the speedster. Red Panther, okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah, the Sonic Boom. But you already knew these things, though. All right. Of course they down first. Okay, hey, they're hyped up. Now you decide to crush them, alright. <laughs> Just get borrowed to participate. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just, just rip that man apart. Man, it's permanent now. Made borrow. Okay. This... <laughs> Yo. Made borrow. Yo, I never thought <laughs> I would see that. But hey, we saw it. Right, so, of course, we started this next match with... Rayo, Kunigami, and Chigori, and of course they're winning because they actually work as a team. They practice as a team. They set their formations. They're on the same page. Uh, they know each other's weapons. They know how to use, utilize each other's weapons and make each other better. Me on our team, we're not doing so great <laughs> with all those things. Uh, but 
we do have the geniuses of Nagi and Baru. And maybe we'll convince Baru to do something. Or maybe we'll find a way to work with Baru. Um, I know the original plan was, you know, kind of seemed like Isagi would just kind of give it to either one depending on the situation. Um, but if they can lock down Baru, who won't pass it, or it might not be, I mean, it might not matter. But we'll see. Maybe the ball will accidentally bounce off of Baru and then into somebody else's on the same team feet or something like that. I don't know. I'm curious to see how this is going to go. I mean, it's not going to be a blowout, so they're going to figure out the score somehow. They probably at first score a few goals based off of, you know, just how good Baru and Nagi are. And Isagi. And Isagi could probably do something too. But they'll, I, I figure to, in order to win the match, they have to figure something out. I'm guessing how the story's going to go. Um, but I do. I think they're going to win, though. I still think they're going to win. I don't think they're going to make... It'd be a, a, tw a crazy twist. They're going to make Isagi lose again. Um... But I think they're going to win. Unless they lose and they pick Isagi. That'd be kind of wild. <laughs> Just to follow him up and see how they go. Because, I don't know. But I feel like in order to beat the top team, they're going to need people like Baru and Nagi to win that game. Um, I don't know. It's a toss-up. It's a toss-up. But I, I still do think that they're going to win. Isagi seems going to win. And uh, I'm not sure who they're going to select. But either either way, they're gonna. I think they're gonna win, and they're gonna select somebody, and they're they're gonna be a dangerous team, and they're gonna face the top team. There, they might lose again. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, very good episode again. I mean, Blue Hawk, Blue Hawk has been <laughs> Blue Hawk, Blue Hawk, Yeah, it's been hype. So <laughs> I'm combining the word together now, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. So until then. <laughs>